I'll take an order of shits and giggles. Hold the shits. No dookie, please. Hey, how you doing? My name is Mr. Brooks. Bit enthusiastic there. Okay, but Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks. Yeah. Fucking pom poms out. Anyways, and I am uh, Don the Bad Hand Grim, and uh, yeah, you're in with the news because we're in with the news, and this is where you're at with us right now. So yeah, IWTK type shit. What up? Welcome. <laughs> yes. Uh, subscribe. Hit the likes. Hit the comments. Say something fucking stupid. I dare you. Hey, hey, you know what? You. Share the shit. That's the share the shit. That's what I want to see. Share the shit. Share the now, shit. Keep the shit to yourself, actually. Share the video and the giggles, but the shit. Yeah, I'll take uh, the giggles, but, you know, hold the shit. Yes, that's okay. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's some shit. I, I've heard that 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 shit a lot. I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm saying shit a lot now, but shits and giggles is... Um, it's strange. It's like when you do something for something, you you assume that the I'm, if I do it for shits and giggles, like if I do it for ice cream and cake, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing I'll do a cartwheel if you give me some ice cream and cake. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for the ice cream and cake. So if I do something for shits and giggles, it's like I, I, I giggles are cool. Everybody likes to giggle, chuckle if you're too manly for giggling, I guess. But like nobody wants shit. Nobody wants, that's why it has a fucking bl- 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 flush it away. Get away, get away. Nobody's out there like fucking, I did my trick and ah, yay, thank you. You know, I got my <laughs> shit. Like, stick up with my giggles. Why would you giggle if you got hot shit on your chest? You're like, mm, I have to, you know how you pull your shirt out when you was a kid to put rocks in it and shit like that? Mm-hmm. Ah, thanks. Thanks for the shits. Yeah, I just, there's a whole lot of fucking uh, sayings that uh, just, just don't make any sense like that. The whole shits and giggles is just like, you know, one of the billions of fucking things we say every damn day. Like, like okay, for example, when when uh, when somebody says, you know, stand fast, it's like I'm already <laughs> I'm already standing, and I'm, I mean, how how I what am run I run motionlessly? To, right, like how am I what what am I supposed to do to make my 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 current this like is. Let me show you, motherfucker. I want to show. This is stand fast. fast right here. That's stand fast. You got to be in the. <laughs> well, that's yeah. That, that's that's about right. You know, because is... you don't run. Still, you know what I'm saying. Why do you... <laughs> sit tight? To me, sit tight is like somebody you scared the fuck out of a man, and their whole ass is like got half of the fucking cushion is inside their fucking buttocks, and they're like. Sitting yeah. tight, goddamn it, the butt's trembling. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or yeah, that's. You don't well, sit tight, like what? And the I, last I mean, thing, you know, strangely, I'm sorry, but it, strangely, it just means stay there. You know what I'm saying? Don't move. Or my grandfather would say, "Park your ass right there." You're like, fuck, man, I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. If you got to park your ass, you're in trouble. There's, there's nobody said, "Hey, man," and the Santa Claus never says, "Nah, come here and park your ass." Nobody. Only dad when he's mad. You park your ass right there and sit tight <laughs> and stand fast and hang loose and fucking what? I was, what I was I, gonna say I hang, to hang loose. I was just gonna say hang loose because you know if Very I'm dangerous. Hanging, if I'm hanging from something, I want to be secured. I don't want to be <laughs> you know hanging loosely from something. Hang tight. You know, a stiff sit loose. Coming, you know, sit like, loose. Yeah. Sit loose. Hang tight. You know what I'm saying? You never want to sit tight. You know. Fuck would you hang loose? Look, man, I'm hanging loose. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you put too much into that. Hang loose. You don't fucking hang loose. Damn, like you just out there, be like, nah, down, down, down. Whoa, <laughs> I got it. Da, 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 da. <sighs> you ever lucked out with something? And if you did, was it good or bad? Okay, you know what? Like. I, I when I first heard the term "lucked out," I thought it was like you know you ran out of luck, you know. The, <laughs> right. It, it, but because you lucked out, you know, it's not like you lucked in or you, know, you came into luck. You lucked <laughs> out. So like, but people mean it as a good thing. So I'm like, 
How the fuck does that make sense? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But, uh, M- Mr. Brooks, I do think it's about time for our first segment. And uh, I got to warn you, this crazy son of a bitch has some really fucked up shit to say. You don't say. Could have fucking told you that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Don Graham. You're Don Graham, and as you know, I am here to talk some shit. Because that's what I do. I talk shit. As if you haven't heard me say that about a thousand times before when I've done these videos, right? You already know I'm here to talk some shit. Anyways. Okay, let's start off by saying this. You know, we, we all know that we've come across people in our lives that, that we have, like, an instant chemistry with. You know, people that uh, you just get along with right off the bat. Um, people that, uh, you know, get your jokes and get your personality right. We just we're from the get. But then there's, there's other people that... that Anti-chemistry. Uh, the kind of people that you already just get this vibe from. That you, you just Something about them just irritates the living shit out of you. And you know that as soon as they do something, it's going to be irritating. And then from that moment on, you're just you're not going to be able to tolerate anymore. You're just not going to be able to tolerate this on a bitch after that point. For example, uh, me and a group of friends were, were out. Another guy I didn't know uh, came along. And we were stopping for something to eat before we were going to hit somewhere else. So we decided we were going to you know, go inside, sit down, you know, someplace, instead of you know, taking something to go. I wanted to, you know, chill for a little bit. But we knew that we had to make it quick, though, because we were, you know, still in a rush. We, had, we still had to, um, you know, make time. So this one dude didn't know him, but he just gave me that, that irritating vibe. Just, just bitching and complaining about everything. Just, come, just nothing was right for us to do. And I was like, I don't know if it was irritating shit. And all of us are sitting around, and we're wolfing down our burgers, and we have some fries and, you know, shakes and shit. And, and this dude is eating his fries one by one, dipping them in his, in his ketchup and eating the fries. Nom, 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 nom. And everybody else is, like, grabbing, like, 5, 6, 10, 15 fucking fries at a time, stuffing their fucking faces, you know, like a bunch of goddamn savages. And this dude is sitting there with his single fry at a time. And he still has a ton of food left. And he knows we gotta get going in a few minutes. Well, we made this clear. So I'm looking at him like, this motherfucker with his goddamn single fry munching ass. I said, hey, Doug, you know we gotta be taking off in a few minutes, right? You don't finish, that's that. You know, you ain't, you ain't bringing that shit in the car. Oh, man, you know, was, come on, man. Fucking me, come on. You knew what the fuck the deal was. You knew, you knew we had to go. You know, quit sitting there with, you know, the kind of, kind of motherfucker that, that, that you would expect to, you know, drink your tea with a pinky. Up. That kind of bullshit. Well, motherfucker, you knew. You knew what the fuck the deal was. Shut the fuck up. So, for, for, you know, he didn't get, to, uh, didn't get to finish his meal because he was too fucking slow. He ended up having to throw it away and he bitched about that. Got in the car and he fucking, you know, then bitched about the fucking, you know, this, 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 you know, this too, too tight. You know, adjust it, motherfucker. Do something. Shit. Suck it up. Be a man. Quiet like a little bitch. Damn. And, and then, you know, we're, we're, we're driving and then, oh, oh, the potholes are hurting my stomach. Will you shut the fuck up? There was nothing this... That, even, you know what? Even if he started acting normal at that point, his, his normal behavior would start to irritate me because I already know he's an irritating motherfucker. I already know how badly he's getting on my last fucking nerves. So even if he started acting normal at that point, even if he started acting normal at that point, I would still be aggravated and irritated by this motherfucker. I left him in San Francisco. His boy didn't want me to leave him, but I got so fucking irritated with him that I was like, no. Your boy can catch the fucking bus. He's been irritating the living fucking shit out of me this whole goddamn time. Complaining about every fucking thing. You're ruining my goddamn vibe. You're ruining the fucking night. Be gone, bitch. Be gone. Catch a bus. Goddamn. Yeah. That, I left him in San Francisco. And you know what? I would have done it again. I mean, just everything about the son of a bitch is so fucking irritating. I mean, even when he was, you know, sitting in the backseat, uh, I see his motherfucker in the mirror, you know, and he's, he's like, squirming and shit. I'm like, mm, squirming. Look at him back there with a little fucking squirming, uncomfortable seatbelt ass. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? God, I just wanted to reach back there and punch him in the fucking mouth. Ah, anyways, that's that's life though. We, you know, we, we come across people that, that we have good chemistry with right off the bat, and there's other people that we just just rub us the wrong fucking way, just can't stand. Just like, just anti chemistry. That's, that's, that's the only thing I think of this fucking, you know, it's kind of anti chemistry. <sighs> anyways, that's all. I just wanted to bitch about that motherfucker because, you know, popped in my head. <sighs> Deuces. True story, by the way. That was that was a true story, by the way. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was because uh, that's exactly how how the fuck it is sometimes. But it's like you ever damn like you could tell somebody's cool right off the bat, but like it's this whole um, it's something you can't even stop either. It doesn't go away if you have to continue to be around that person. Like if it's uh, <laughs> I mean, and sometimes I don't know who might have this, but there's been times when somebody I'm sure has had like. Their buddy's wife was a fucking, you know, bitch. 
or something like go, that. Go, go ahead and you're say like, it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, ha, 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 all right. You know, it's every time you say anything, you're like, you're a smart ass. And it's like, if she comes in there and he's like, do you want bread? And be like, why would I want bread? Like, you fucking stupid bitch. <clears throat> Fuck wants bread. Can I get you a beer? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But like, she ain't did shit wrong. I fucking hate that bitch. Because she did one thing. She did something. You know what I'm saying? She did something. She did something. Like, well, you know. But they can't now. Now the motherfucker, it, it ain't got to be the buddy's wife. It could be anybody. It's once they do something, it's like, man, they can't drink the fucking straw properly now. They can't do a goddamn thing right. Nothing, nothing. And you know it's them because you might later come out and 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 like somebody and they do the same things and you're like, that's kind of cool. I like it's hilarious. Every time you do that, it's funny to me, man. You got to know how you drink out the fucking straw, whatever mm-hmm. it was. You know what I'm saying? But the other person, it's like, they could. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was their twin brother. Be like, y'all do the same damn thing, you annoying prick. God, mm-hmm. you just want to be your brother. Even though you look like him, you'll never be him. <sighs> anyway, that's my own personal problems. Mm-hmm. Any, uh, back to what you were saying. Yeah, I was just saying, you know, the motherfucker really got left to San Francisco. I just I had <laughs> enough of that shit. I mean, it, you know, <clears throat> they're, they're, like I was saying, there's some people you just get along with right off the bat, and that's cool. You know, you just click it. Hey, that's my fucking dude. Yeah, but these other motherfuckers, just, <laughs> just, I just want to hit you with a sledge you know, with a sledgehammer and right in the middle of your fucking face just to shut you the fuck up for two goddamn minutes. You know, you look at something like like, and and the most minute little fucking details will set you off about them too. Like once you're already annoyed with them, it's like that motherfucker really tied his fucking shoes like that. What the. Fuck? You fucking. Ret- also, I want to point out the whole uh, French fry thing. <clears throat> I'll question your sexuality as a man if you eat one French fry. Look, I mean, if you just say, "Oh, goddamn French fry," and you're eating one here and there, but like, if you're fucking eating your food, like, you can't. Not every one, man. Not every one. Not every single one. And you have to have the little. Woof, woof. Like when I was a little, I just dip it in there and. Thought you were gonna say he was dipping it in the milkshake because I see people that do shit like that, which I did when I was a kid. But if he if he did, that would have been a bit of saving grace for him because then I'd be like, huh, okay, you know, like that, that that's something I would do, you know. But I, if, <laughs> even even then, even then, I would be like, Doug, come on now, like four or five at a time, please hurry up, you know. <laughs> Anyways, look, I think it's about time to get on to your fucking uh, your segment and let you talk some shit. <sighs> All right. Fine, be that way. I wasn't going to do mine tonight, but I, I guess whatever, man. If... Why would you not do yours? You heathen. I'm just kidding. I can't. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Here, here. let's yeah. just do it, and then we'll say something about it after, and somebody be mad at me. They usually fucking probably who gives, are. Who gives a fuck? Leave a comment if you are, because I definitely want to hit the dislike fucking button. Cause I'm fucking badass rebel, fucking thug ass motherfucker. Keyboard ninja. I got that. Eh? What's up, y'all? It's Mr. Brooks. Um, you know, I wanted to talk for a minute about um, you know, it's 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 hard, man. Like I, you know, I don't get fucking paid for like you know, like I should, but uh. I consider myself a, a bit of a comedian. I, I go out of my way to try to make people laugh. I want to. I want to p- see people smile and be happy. Uh, I want to get paid for it. I don't really, but uh, you know, I make people laugh everywhere I go. I try, and uh, the problem is, man, these days it's, it's kind of hard. Like these professional, like stand-up comics and stuff like that. I can't imagine what it's like in this ridiculous fucking world to try to be funny because you can't say fucking anything about anybody. Unless, of course, you're, like, not white, then you can diss white people. Other than that, you can't say jack shit about nobody. Um, I'm tired of shit happening, like, with Roseanne. You know, I know it's... People are like, ah, oh, that's old shit. I don't give a fuck. I want Roseanne back. She didn't do a fucking thing to warrant her entire career being destroyed and being blacklisted and, and, and just completely wiped off the face of the earth. You can't find her shows hardly anywhere. Uh, you know, fuck you, Sarah Gilbert. And fucking John Goodman and uh, everybody else on the show, the Connors, fuck Wanda Sykes for goddamn turning their back on her. Especially when you consider that, you know, Nick Cannon's punk ass said all that foul ass shit he said about white people, and he's still the host of the biggest show on television. Like, really? 
I mean, anyway, I don't want to get too far into that shit, but I just like, man, it's got to be tough, man. Like, I mean, if I was already famous on the stage, I promise you, I would still say the same shit. I could give two fucks what anybody thinks, but, you know, uh, I'm a firm believer that once black and white people openly make fun of each other's differences, I think we'll be well on our way to finally ending racism. As long as we in this situation where you can't say something about gay people, black people, fat people, uh, you know, mentally unstable people or morons that chop their dick off and wear makeup and pretend they're guys like punk ass Bruce Jenner. Like until you can make fun of those people, this is what we're going to live with, man. So I'm going to continue to make fun of those people and, uh, you know, fuck you if you don't like it. Peace. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> Part of uh, part of part of joking, like okay, back in back in the the old days, you know, as I, you know, my age is starting to show, you know, people would you know make gay jokes on a, on a regular basis. <laughs> Are you looking looking for the numbers written on the face or something? Back to the first segment with the goddamn. Well, there's some language that doesn't really fucking make sense. Oh, yeah. it's starting to show, goddamn, it started showing. Like it's so great. Anyway, go ahead. Gotcha. Thanks. Anyways, and thanks for you know, my, my my esteem is shot now. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it, it back, back way back in the day, in my day, you know, pe- people made gay jokes, and people made, you know, like all. I mean, it, 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 if you if you can think of it, there were jokes about it, and it wasn't just. And don't even go with the oh, well, that's just white people doing this. No, that wasn't just white people. Believe me, no, it's I, just I, the I way in, like. Yeah. I lived in communities where I was the only fucking white person and all that joking was going on among everybody. You know, I've had, I've had friends like good friends that were all different nationalities that would joke with me about the racism thing back and forth, you know, uh, you know, like for example, uh, you know, friend of mine, uh, he would, he, I would walk over, you know, walk over to his house and, and, uh, walk in the door and he would greet me, you know, with, you know, honky pecker with cracker hibbly, whatever, you know, and, and I would come back at him, you know, spear chuck and porch monkey, whatever. But that was just because me and him were that tight. We knew one another well enough to know that he's not a racist. I'm not a racist. And we made, and we were literally doing that to make fun of that shit. We were making fun of the fact that people are racist. And that was, <laughs> and, and you know, and that was that was what we were doing. That's how that's how how we did it, and that's that's how tight we were. So, you know, and I've had more than just one friend like that that you know would joke like that. Like hell, you know, the um, there's been a few jobs that I've been at, you know, with, with a bunch of Mexican dudes, and they would always joke, you know, uh, make white jokes, and I you know make Mexican jokes back at them, and everybody just laugh, ha ha ha, ha you know, and they would toss me a beer, and you know, you know, after work, of course, you know, we were chilling or something, and toss me a beer, <laughs> hey, widow. Yeah, you, know, oh. you like how I threw a little disclaimer in there after work. If you know, after work, of course, I'm gonna fucking come back and <laughs> oh, here's the fucking I'm, you're fired. Like I don't, that's that was like 18 years ago, right? But I mean, they, they, it, it I would have fired you, motherfucker. I would have fired you. But I mean, to take everything so seriously into heart, I understand there's certain things that will trigger certain people because of certain experiences. Okay, we can we can stray, we we can stay away from all that. But the rest of it, why isn't it just open game? Why 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 don't we just embrace one another and laugh together? Why you know, it should why, be why? man? It's like I don't know where the fucking line got drawn where it was all of a sudden you had to be like super sensitive to, to everybody's needs when it was just it's just like it just happens like that back and forth sometimes. It changes too. Like you know, depending on whether it's fucking left or right or democrat or this or fucking religious or that or fucking Blah, fucking blah. Depends like, on whether or not it's acceptable to make fun of it. You know, uh, I've uh, everybody that, that that's ever known me has has known that. You know, uh, I I'm proud of my Irish, you know, Celtic ancestry. So of course, you know how many damn Irish jokes there are. How many Irishmen does it take to screw in a light bulb? All that shit. You know that. Oh, I mean, I've heard it all. And what do I do? I don't get offended by it. I laugh at it. I laugh at it because I know that's not me. I know that's not how I am. I know I know that 
those things are only jokes. It's humor. You want you want to make fun of me? Go, go ahead, have at it. I mean, shit. Me and Mister Brooks go back and forth. You know, making Photoshop pictures of one another, doing the craziest shit you can you can imagine. But do we get mad at one another? No, because it's fucking humor. Some of it's really fucked up shit. And you know, if he makes a picture of me where I look like an absolute fucking jackass or something completely out it's of usually mind. not Photoshop. When you do it, whenever I post those, those ones are really I've never photoshopped. I photoshopped like two pictures. The rest of them motherfuckers that just happen to have my camera out. That's all. Screw you. Anyway, <laughs> but, you know, things that are totally out of my nature. And, and do I get mad? Fuck no. So I mean, come on, man. It's, it's it's all humor. I understand if you don't know somebody very well and they try to joke with you, you know, crossing the line with you because you don't have that rapport yet. And you're like, hold on, dog. Well, you know, I don't know you like that. I, like, I can understand you need to break the ice and get to know somebody first for some for, for some things. But for the rest of it, it's like, dude, fucking, you know, grow, grow some skin. Like, you know, let, let that shit thicken up a little bit. Yeah, come you on. know what I heard one time? I had to just say that, that it was uh, somebody. Well, you don't. Uh... You know, you don't have to deal with that. And I'm like, my God, let me just fucking tell everybody out there that I have been called every derogatory white person name there is hundreds of times per slur. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. It's daily uh, by bus drivers, teachers, fucking, uh, you know, just every goddamn student. Like, you know, it, it's constant. I mean, it ain't constant, but it's it, this has happened so many fucking times in my life. Even if it was fucking, watch out, white boy. Like, mm -hmm. and, and not, like, not to mention all the TV crazy. shows that have been saying it for fucking decades, and and you know all the stand-up comics. Like, my skin is fucking super thick because not only do I not get fucking pissy about it, I still support those fucking people. I still watch the goddamn shows, and I still fucking laugh my ass off. Oh yeah. So there That's you go, I and uh, yeah. Fucking peace, motherfucker. That's all I'm saying. Uh, whatever. Everybody just laugh at each other. We'll live longer. Just take a joke. For God's sake, take a fuck. Don't take a shit and for giggles and all that. Just take a joke. Leave a shit. That's my new motto. And some comments. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>